Yeah, and it was a cool, chilly night to do so. Yes. Did I hear that you also had the fireplace on? Yes, my husband did have the fireplace uh -huh. on as well. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're ready for some fall feeling weather. Oh, yes, absolutely. And with it being the first day of fall, hopefully we can get some more cooler weather in here over the next several days or the next several weeks. There is an indication of another cool down to come by the middle of next week. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. So with it being the first day of fall, it's the autumn equinox equal equal day, equal night for today. But as we go farther in time, we will start to see more of the longer nights take over. That leads right up to the winter solstice, which will be right before Christmas. Average high today, 85. And by November the 1st, the average high drops down to 72 degrees. So here's your sunrise and sunset today, 7, 10 a.m. to 7, 17. So about 12 hours, 7 minutes of daylight. Look what happens on November 1st. This is also the day that we we fall back an hour, 6:38 a.m. Sunset at 10:30, so just shy of 11 hours of daylight that we'll see come the first day of November. Those longer nights, yeah, they are coming. We have had some good rain the last couple of days, and some of it has been heavy in a few spots. In Gilmer, we've had an inch and two thirds. Northwest Smith County, just over an inch. Same for Wood County. Equipment, you've had 85 hundreds. Wood County Airport there near Mineola, 88. Hundreds, uh, 1.6 at Tyler Pounds, Athens, a bit more than two inches. Highest total in Frankston, over three inches. Longview, you've had your share of rain over two inches. Henderson, an inch and two thirds. Priscilla, 1.65 in Grapeland, had a report there of over an inch of rain. Crockett, just over two inches. And Nacogdoches, about 56 hundreds. And you think those amounts are high? Be thankful that we're not dealing with this type of amount in the last 24 hours. Houston, around there as they have seen amounts close to almost 10 inches or more of rain. We were showing you the pictures of flooding. I just couldn't help but just try to understand why people were still driving through that very high water, a very dangerous situation that they have been dealing with and more rain moving through now, even though it's not a lot, it's enough for the weather service to have flash flood warnings in effect. It's this band of rain that's going to gradually lift northward. I want to show you that here with future cast. Watch what happens overnight as the remains of beta start to move across the city of Houston. More of those outer rain bands will lift north and northeast. So deep east Texas, you could be in line for a couple of thunderstorms, but mostly just some heavier rain as we head through the overnight. By morning, a lot of that will begin to shift off to the east, and then it's Louisiana and heading toward Mississippi. Their turn we will see some of that rainfall. But for us, by the afternoon, the precipitation should begin to let up. But you notice those clouds, yeah, those aren't going anywhere. Most likely won't be going anywhere on Thursday until very late into the afternoon. So a couple of storms in our southern areas by the late afternoon, a cloudy sky. Make sure you have the umbrella with you. Temperatures tomorrow into the low 70s. Maybe some late day sun Thursday by Friday. More sun. That's when temperatures climb back up into the mid 80s for us. Deep East Texas, a couple of storms tomorrow, mainly in the morning. Then they should let off by the afternoon. All right, Marcus, thank you.